Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, I wanted to say first and foremost that I wanted to take a step back from what I saw on the last Fire Fist video. And I really took a step back and I started thinking, man, that's not the type of views, that's not the type of uh, likes that I would like to see on the video. I'd like to see uh, a lot more. And now that I'm recording this, it's making me start to look at the real life games a lot different because even though I feel that the, the quality of the video is just so much better, I'm hoping maybe it's just the matchup that turns people off or, you know, there, there's something different besides the actual, uh, the, the, the video itself that doesn't make people want to play. But since I am going over, um, the Fire Fist, uh, I'm going to be going over all four in different videos. We're going to be doing Fire Fist, Artifact, Trap Tricks, Hands, also known as Fat. And it's, it's a very interesting deck to play. Uh, mainly because I'm playing hat with fire with with three bears, a gorilla, and a wolf mark. So it, it's not really fire fist at all, but it still does fit the fire fist category as fire fist bear is one of the main focuses. It just trickles down to it being a fire fist quote unquote deck, but not really. I just would really the biggest thing is I really wanted to show you guys is. The difference between a genuine Fire Fist deck and people that bad Mystical Space Tycoon. I actually let you do that. Thank you. I've never met a player so good. I've never met a player so good. Any bottomless is it? Okay. Okay. Perfectly fine with me. I just wish the kid played a lot better. Um, but anyways, let's get into another game. And like I was saying, um, this deck isn't necessarily Fire Fist. It does have a Fire Fist engine in it, and it's to show you guys the difference between a Fire Fist deck and what this deck is doing. Right now, I'm playing a variation of Hat more of than a variation of Fire Fist. So you guys can really be like, oh, that's not Fire Fist. Stop calling these type of decks Fire Fist. If I play Fire Kings with the Fire Fist cards in it, does that make it Fire King Fire Fist? No, it's Fire Fist. So if I'm playing Fire Fist in Hat, it's still Hat. It just has the Tinky Bear action to further the opponent's combos. It's a cookie cutter mesh deck. Um, what the hell is he playing? Oh, okay. Sure, I'll, I'll let him reflect. Uh, damage to me as long as I get the second ball attack, and then uh, I'll commit the that, and I'll commit that, and then that that'll be it. But um, the deck isn't Fire Fist at all. I don't even open up what Fire Fist plays. That's the most uh, that's the craziest thing about the deck because it doesn't doesn't compute like a regular Fire Fist deck. This is going to operate just like that, destroying cards, um, activating wall tags, summoning your trap tricks, and he quits out. So, nobody really wants to play the Cali effect today, and that's perfectly fine. So, um, let's get another one, because we're soon enough going to find uh, some games on here. And it, it's gotten me thinking about what I want to do with real life games in general. Do I really want to continue on doing real life games? Or not real life games, uh, the sagas. Um, is actually sitting down on DN and showing you guys the decks really even worth them anymore, especially after what I've seen in the last uh, video. So uh, I'm telling you right now, YouTube, it's a lot on my mind right now. I'm going to go against the same guy that quit out on me. Um, are you going to quit? Again, just a quick question. I just want to know. Uh, I hope not. And he starts off with the same card. The struggle. I'm going to show him what I'm playing. He'll probably will. Well, actually, yeah, he quits again. That, that one was funny. I expected him to quit again. 
Oh, let's get into another game, guys. This is getting too fun. We're gonna play against Nicolas Cage. Because I didn't know Nicolas Cage played it, you know. And this deck in particular is an extremely disruptive deck when you do place the Fire Fist um, into the Hat deck. Because you get, obviously, more disruption um, into your plays. So with that being said, I need to rip, like, a Tinsu. Because I'll go Tinky to Bear, Summon Bear, he'll bounce it back with Polix. Oh, I'm sorry, he'll bounce it back with Blighties. And then I'll go, you know, Tinsu. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Is that a cost coming out? No, it's not. So I have nothing to be afraid of right now. Unless he goes into something really cool. Why would you even waste a Sombre like that? Okay. That's extremely weird. You know what? I'm not here to judge him. I'm gonna sap the moral time. I'm gonna set my hand. Get it? I'm gonna set my hand, because normally I'd set every single card if I'm setting my hand, but oh you guys don't care. Then I'll pass turn. He has no Constellar Monsters in the graveyard, so Sombras is going to do him justice. I figured that if I went Tinky Bear, summon the bear that blew up the cost, he still has the Omega on field to run over my bear. So, if he runs into my Fire Hand, I get the special summon Ice Hand. There's no way he can put two materials over there. Oh, actually, I can change the pulse, but that's not going to help. Um, if he runs into my Fire Hand, I can destroy his Sombra, special summon Ice Hand, and then I can uh, commit to a different play afterward. Going first is still really good now, guys. Uh, he stole a lot of his summon. Okay. This man is confusing. Oh, sweet. Switches it to attack. Attack with the bigger monster first. Oh, sweet. That, that's still good. Yes, I wish to use fire. Destroy Sombra. Special summon Ice Hand. Sweet. And since he committed his best card um, in his deck to the board so early without getting anything, it's going to cost him a lot. I'm going to activate Tinky. Any responses? Hmm. What is he? Maybe. No, I think he would activate a Typhoon by now if it was a Typhoon. It's gonna flip up Magic Dream? No? Okay. Sweet. We're gonna add Bear. Because that's our only option. Next, we're gonna normal summon the Bear. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're actually summoning monsters. I can get risky and run over it, but it's whatever. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go for the safe play for the Omega. His back row is responsive, so. Puts me in a risky position. I can exceed something. But what would I exceed to? Hmm. Not that I can see from here. As a matter of fact, I think I know what to exceed to. Ah, that's so risky. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass turn. So back to you, Nick was caged. We got to turn out some of the second Baron going to Tiger King. He's debating on a play. Um, this deck really is good at making card advantage, as you guys can see. Um, I did start off with an extra card uh, for the turn. So if you take away that one card, I have six to his four. Um, you put the card back in, I have 7 to his 4. Deck doesn't really lose too much advantage with the Tinky Bear action. Had Bear ran over any of his cards, I would have been able to fetch. Oh, what the hell? Who plays this? That card's actually not bad. It's a thing that made me want to... It's a reason why I wanted to go Rhapsody and banish some things. But oh well, it wouldn't matter. That's fine. I'm 
he can't enter his battle phase, right? I really think this card would have been a hell of a lot better if he could enter his battle phase. I would have made the deck playable. Okay. Are you going to special something? Yes, he is. So my question is, he's committed all his monsters to the board. I hope he's going into something special. What are you going into, Nicholas Cage? Power Dynamo. Hmm. Well, he's just going to Power Dynamo again. He can't attack, so. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that he hits my bear. That's fine. It doesn't matter because I'm going to exit and tell him what it anyways. What's your second card you're going to be going into? Kratos actually isn't that bad. I've still got to give it to Kratos. Another Omega. That's fine. So I'll draw. And I'll normal summon Bear. Response, sweet, because I'm going to go into Rogue Fist the Tiger Key. Yes, I'm going to activate Tiger Key to that. Do you have a response? And here we are. Here's the Cali Effect plan, Fire Fist. I'm going to set the Tensu. Now I'm going to activate Bear, negate all of the monster's effects, he doesn't know what to do, he's like, but, but, my Omega, he's going to chain Omega, that's actually fine. Even though, actually, it's a Beast Warrior, so it doesn't matter. I would completely forget about that. Lord, what is this face down? Man. Okay, then I'm going to activate one part. Spell Summon Bear. And what can I do to get over... That was what I did not. Wow. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess we get to test him out. You can detach one material and target one face up card, change the face down position. You can detach one material, target one other face up card of the field, shuffle it into the deck. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. That's actually very useful. I don't necessarily need to get over the monster threat. I just needed to flip it face down. Response? Deep prison. That's fine. I gotta attack him to his monster now. And then I'm going to set my deep prison in my turn. This sounds a really good card. I actually really like that card. Uh, I don't want him drawing cards, so it's whatever. Uh, summon. Sweet. I know exactly what I want to do. We'll go into the card that makes me feel less icky when I play so many hands. And Daikusto Emerald. Activate its effect. Wolf Bard, Fire Hand, Ice Hand. Back into the deck. Sweet. More of it. 
will attack with Dagos or Emerald. Probably another person. I'm actually happy with a Mirror Force. They're all dichotomy targets. He's thinking. I think he wants to hit the Tiger again. That's a superior play. Good job. Yeah. That's perfectly fine with me. I'm going to set a card face down and pass. I have not drawn a trap trick monster. That's fine. <laughs> Speak of the devil, right? Only two? Sure. One normal summon, Mary Mellow. Response? This deck, I'm not even gonna lie, this deck is actually really fun. It's pretty good. I'm gonna attack with Mary Mello. What is your face down? Forbidden Lions, maybe? The Pulse. We'll set that bottom one. Go ahead. I think it's a douchebag move. To summon a monster over 1500 attack, and then add a card that destroys a monster over 15 attack. So it's basically, if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, you have to summon a monster over 1500 attack, or under 1500 attack, that can make itself over 1600 attack, which there aren't many, so hope. Yeah, it doesn't really help. We'll go ahead and enter battle. Attack him for another 16. Put him in a danger zone. He's gonna summon Pollux. He's gonna lose that to a bottom of trap hole. Oh, I thought he was gonna gain the other summon. And Tanky will activate. That real tanky though. Oh, I can get Wolf Park. Struggle. Got all about Wolf Park. Since I cycled it back. So, yeah, I guess you could kind of consider this Fire Fist. But in that same token, not really Fire Fist. It's a completely different. Oops, wrong one. It's a completely different deck. That's about 20 minutes, so I think that's fine. Um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me think, how do you think the format should be? So far, I'm going to be doing, uh, obviously you guys already seen the video of me teaching you how to play Fire Fist. Then I'm going to be teaching you about the certain builds and what exactly do they play. Next, I'll be giving the deck profile of my, I want to say favorite build or the build that I think is the best. But this is going to be the favorite build because this is the better build out of all of them. But then again, it's not really Fire Fist. It's Hat with Fire Fist in it or Hat with Bear in it for the most part. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy.